what's up? Today we are going to be making a tapestry corset uh, inspired by Kristen Mallison. Um, be sure to like and subscribe for more if you like this video, of course. Um, and I won't keep you any longer, let's get into the video! So here is what my pattern ended up looking like. For the fabric, I used a thicker, almost canvas type fabric that used to be a curtain to make sure my top would have the structure needed for a corset style top since I didn't want to pay for boning. I folded my fabric in half right sides together so I could cut out each of two of each pattern piece with one set mirrored. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm running on like two hours of sleep, so that's what you're getting. Also, do you guys like my like random jars I've been using as pattern weights? Um, usually I just use my phone or some books, but that was one on my desk. That's actually a tea jar that I got in China and I just never got rid of it and now I use it to keep my pins in. You know, reduce, reuse, recycle, A. Okay, so this is kind of the idea, except I cut two of every single one, so but so this is like one side. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the front panels together and the back panels and then join them, I think, and then I can join the front panel and then try it on to see if I did this correctly. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, and I'm out of fabric, so... 
Let's, let's hope. I lay out all my pieces in the way it is supposed to be put together so I wouldn't get confused as to which is which. I started by sewing the back pieces to the side back pieces and the front pieces to the front side pieces with a half an inch seam allowance. Oh my gosh, I just said peaches like two million times in that sentence. Um, you can see me pinning it together here. Basically, I sewed like the back panels and then the front panels. Um, yeah, I don't think that the order really matters though in how you sew it together. I just chose to do the hardest seams first because of the curve. Um, and since your front pieces and your side pieces are probably curved um, because, you know, boobs, um, unless you're a guy, which, cool, welcome to the channel. Um, so just be careful and be slow when you're s sewing that up. Wow, that's a, like a tongue twister right there. Be slow sewing that up, be slow sewing that up. Say that like 10 times quickly. Okay, so I realized I actually just messed up in sewing these together. So basically, like, the panels are the exact same, um, which shouldn't happen because you have two sides of your body. So luckily, this fabric, like, doesn't have a real right side or wrong side that I could, like, really tell, um, which is why this mistake happened in the first place. So I'm just going to seam rip this and then flip it the other way. So I re-sewed that to correct it. Learn from my mistakes, people. Do as I say, not as I did. Next, I ironed all the seams flat without cutting the seam allowance. Ironing your seams flat, um, even if you aren't doing what I'm doing, is always important when you're sewing because it helps give a more professional look. I then sewed the seam allowance to the top, um, which helped make the inside of the top cleaner and also helped contribute to the corset style without the fuss of added boning. Can you tell I didn't want to deal with boning? Then I folded in the sides and hemmed the whole thing with that half an inch seam allowance. Okay, so while we're watching me hem this, here's a few notes about adjustments I needed to make based on my pattern. I had to take in the front a lot because I didn't realize that the back buttons on the original top overlap. I also had to take the back in a little bit, um, and this is probably because I the original top had stretch fabric and this is not stretchy. I also added a small dart to the straps because they kept falling off my shoulders. Just keep in mind that you will probably have to do some small adjustments to your top because your pattern probably won't be perfect on the first try, and that's okay. Okay, so we are almost done with the top. I have it all sewed together and all this like hemming that I needed to do, I got all that done. It is currently 10.24 p.m. It is dark outside. Um, I honestly don't know how the people on Project Runway do it. Like, this is such an easy top and I've been working on it for like five hours, but we are going to attach the zipper and then step one, day one, will be done. And so I attached the zipper with great difficulty. It would probably be easier fit-wise and construction-wise to do the traditional lace-up corset back, but I already had the zipper and I didn't want to pay for ribbon. Um, if you do use a zipper like I did, you should probably use one that opens all the way down because I had to leave the fit a little bit looser than I originally had planned to account for the fact that my zipper didn't open 
at the bottom, so I tried it on to make sure it fit and went to bed. Okay, so it is day two of making this like corset painted top and the top is done. And today we are, well, I am going to paint it. So I have a Pinterest board, it's like aesthetics. Um, and basically I have like a bunch of images saved there that I'm gonna paint onto this top. Um, the original, like the piece that I was inspired by was like made out of like old tapestries, but like I wanna put my own little like futuristic spin on it. So I think that I'm gonna pick like one scene for like each of these panels and then I'll, I'll do like some floral maybe maybe like overlap panels a little bit i don't know we'll see how i'm feeling about it so so to paint this top i will be using um the martha stewart multi-surface acrylic craft paint it's like a, I'm a beauty girl. Um, and this stuff is great for painting clothes. I also will be using the tintable fabric medium and this just makes it so it spreads better and makes it so once it's on the fabric and it dries, it's like less crunchy almost. But this stuff is great. You can put it in the wash um, after you've heat set it. So let's get started. I started by putting some cardboard in to stop the paint from bleeding through. Then I tape the sides of the seams to get that nice, satisfying, clean edge, just like painting a room, except a room doesn't have curvy walls. Now I'm just mixing my paint colors together is this satisfying to you? Should I do some ASMR? I'm so sorry for that. Um, I... I always start painting by painting big blocks of color and then adding more and more details until I am happy with what I made. The Martha Stewart paint layers super super well so you can just keep painting until you like what you've done. To get the tapestry corset look I'd recommend trying some people and landscape scenes but really do whatever floats your boat. I mean the whole point of this is you get to customize the top for yourself. Um, but basically what I'm telling you is don't be discouraged when you start painting because my top did not look good at first. But as you put more and more time in, all of a sudden it all comes together. Here's the first panel done. The second panel. The third panel.
the fourth panel. And finally, the fifth panel. Woo! And here's the finished top. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good, um, pretty tapestry-esque. After you paint, you should heat set so you can wash the top. To do this, put a scrap fabric on top and iron each side for 10 minutes. Here you can see a wild Maddie watching the Big Bang Theory while ironing. That's how you make your very own Kristen Mallison tapestry corset. I hope this tutorial was helpful. <laughs>